ever pondered the fate of live service games in the gaming industry, today we're diving deep into Sony's live service games and how they stack up against those of other companies. In the recent past, Sony has made significant shifts towards live service games. Key to this strategy was their acquisition of Bungie, a well-known game developer, for a whopping $3.7 billion. The plan was for Bungie to assist PlayStation's single-player studios in transitioning to live service games. However, as we've seen, the journey has been anything but smooth. Sony initially earmarked 60% of its PlayStation budget to develop a dozen live service games. However, due to internal challenges, they decided to halve that amount. Only six games are now set for release by the fiscal year 2025, leaving the timeline for the rest uncertain. Now let's talk about Bungie's Destiny 2, a game that was expected to be a major player in Sony's live service games portfolio. Unfortunately, it's faced difficulties. This, combined with the potential cancellation of The Last of Us Faction's game, raises questions about Sony's foray into the live service space. But Sony isn't alone in this. The gaming industry at large has been wrestling with the challenges of live service games. We've seen failures like Anthem and Avengers exemplify these struggles. In an interesting turn of events, Naughty Dog, a studio known for its acclaimed single-player games, decided to cancel development on The Last of Us Factions. Instead, they chose to focus on narrative-driven games, marking a shift away from live service projects. So, what does this mean for Sony? Well, their transition to live service games could potentially impact their successful track record with single-player games. This year has proven to be particularly tough for the Western gaming industry, and Sony's difficulties highlight the broader challenges of breaking into the live service space. To summarize, Sony's move towards live service games, fueled by the acquisition of Bungie, has been fraught with obstacles. The cancellation of The Last of Us Factions and the challenges faced by Destiny 2 have raised concerns about Sony's new direction. It's clear that the success of live service games is uncertain and the industry continues to grapple with this genre. In the face of these challenges, Sony and other companies are reconsidering their focus, potentially returning to single-player games that have proven successful in the past. As we look towards the future, we can only hope for a brighter horizon for these companies and the gaming industry as a whole.